Okay, it says I'm live. So I guess I am. The right screen. Okay, hi Debbie. Hi Barbara. Hi Josie. Yeah, you guys are waiting. I'm a minute late. I was getting out some paper. Hi Eileen. So let me see what the camera's doing here now. All right, that is straight on the table. Oh, that's straight now. Cool. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Joan. Hi, Terry. Hi, Karen. Hi, Sassy Studios. So this is a, because it's my birthday. Hi, Shauna. Hi, Kat. So my focus, you freak, doesn't look like it's working. Oh, maybe my, yep. YouTube automatically booted me back to 144. So if you don't have a clear picture, go into your settings and um, boot it back up. They do that to me periodically. Thank you, Barbara. Um, hi, Christy. Hi, Imelda. Hi, Penny Girl. Thanks, you guys. It's going to be a good week, all week. And I just checked out at Amazon this morning, so I should have fun stuff coming. Hi, Holly. You got a cool drawing at Dee Dee's this morning. Every one of those was so much fun. Hi, Carla. Hi, Galena. And I have some presents to show from me and Eileen. So I'll just give people a few minutes to come on in. Hi, Mindy. I love my birthday. That probably sounds crazy, but I love my birthday. I don't like the necessarily getting older, but I like being able to buy whatever I want, whenever I want. I was making trash the other day, Angry Rabbit. I'll pull it out real quick and show you guys. This is what trash art looks like. In this crazy big journal. remember where it is there it is that's trash art I ended up really liking that too that was fun leave it to Eileen you're, you're at the right place <laughs> thanks angry rabbit it is Joan Every birthday is a blessing. You were surprised how good it turned out. You have ye of little faith. <laughs> Eileen still would say, oh, it's too organized. You need to do the circles random. I think the circles are pretty random. I haven't done anything with it since then, obviously, but the wrinkles, not some. Yeah, the wrinkles suck. And I'm not about to go get um, Botox or anything like that. I earned these wrinkles. I earned the gray hair. I earned it all. And I earned the crappy attitude, too. And every day I go out and deal with people, my crappy attitude only gets better. I mean, not improving. I just get better at being having a crappy attitude. <laughs> so, and I'll probably work in here today. No more trash art, but yeah. Probably do something in this book. Someday it's going to be a fun, fun book. Hi, Dorothy. Hey, Kat. I don't remember if I said hi to you earlier. Yeah, it came out pretty good. I like the gold on it. Somehow got you guys have turned me into liking gold and a little bit of shimmer. Because I used to didn't like that at all. Yeah, Terry, I'm sure. 
I think the older you get, the the less likely you are to put up with BS. And that's what I have a problem with. It's just total nonsense. BS annoys me. So, yeah. So, okay, we've given people plenty of time. If you're going to come in, come in. If you're not here yet, you're late. All right, so I'll start with Teresa Peterman, who is always so thoughtful, um, sent me a birthday card. All you need is love and a piece of cake. So, Teresa, thank you so much, as always. You're thoughtful. You're on time. You're kind. I just can't say enough. So, thank you so much for my first birthday card. Yeah, Teresa is always so sweet. She is. She's just always so, so nice. And I'm going to save the best for last. Um, and then last, I guess it was Monday or Tuesday, um, I got in my mail. Hi, CB. And um, Dee Dee had sent me her book. I think she showed it. How to Draw Inky Wonderlands, Joanna Basford. And I really like this. I really like it. Thanks, Josie. Um, so I'm just going to flip through it real quick. They're very simple little doodly kind of drawings. But she does the step out. So you can see how to draw the, her birds. And um, I do one already. Um, but I'm sure you're all somewhat familiar with Joanna Basford's work. But look at that cute owl. So I don't know if you guys want some time, I'll I'll draw out of this and you can draw along. Thank you, Joan. Hi, Paula. Hi, Kim. So um, yeah, just just really simple little drawings that come out very cool. And she's she walks you through them step by step. So if you like doodly little drawings, this is a cool book. Very cool book. Borders. Ferns. I was so happy that Dee Dee sent it. I'm not sure. Well, oh, why she didn't keep it. Vines. Forest friends. Mushrooms. And toadstools. I like those. Hi, Aunt Beck. You got a cool drawing at Dee Dee's today, too. I love this. The firefly. And these are leafy bugs. So even though if you think you couldn't draw something like that, with these kind of step outs, if you follow them step by step, anybody can draw. I absolutely am a firm believer that absolutely anybody can draw. I think most people... Um, look at that and think, oh my God, I couldn't do that. But if you look at each of the steps, you can draw that curved line. You can draw that little um, bell, add the leaves, and pretty soon you've got, you know, something that's cool like Joanna Bassford draws. Yeah, it is a good source book for the borders. Or just, you know, doodly flowers. I do a bunch of this in my beast the other day, just sitting, looking through it, thinking, oh, I'm going to draw that. But if you look at that, you think, oh, I could never draw that. But if you look at each of the steps, pretty soon you're going, holy cow, maybe I could do that, right? Hey, Kathy. You just draw zeros on your checks. Okay, Eileen, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go to your checkbook right now. Get out a check. Put a lot of zeros and a lot of commas because those are my favorite kind of checks that have lots of commas and lots of zeros. And if you need, I'll send you a self-addressed stamped envelope. Here's an ocean ribbon motif, ship in a bottle. So they're just really cute little doodly things. And you can't ever have too much cute little doodly things in your life, Brad. <laughs> I thought it was a good idea. Of course, most often your ideas and my ideas don't mesh. <laughs> Watch last week's stream. 
<laughs> and you'll see how true that is. Here's a seaweed tangle, lots of fishes, a ship, more fishes, just patterns, repetitive patterns. So it's a very cool little book. I didn't even look how much it is. I'll see if there's a price on it. Butterflies, flowers, insects. I do this little caterpillar too. I like caterpillars. Hi, Jilly. I'll wait for Kathy to come back because I want to show some stuff I was drawing yesterday. Jackie left. I had company. Um, Robert Stoddard was here. So we had a really fun weekend. Um, went out to dinner with her. Hi, Kimberly. It's good to see you, too. Um, Friday night with Amy and Lane. And Amy brought me a blanket for my birthday. And you guys, I can't, I mean, I guess I could go get it and show it. It is the softest, fluffiest, nicest blanket ever. I am going to spend plenty of days on my couch with my new blanket. Botanical flowers and borders. Bunch of different kinds of leaves. So those of you who sit around and say, I can't draw. Yes, you can. And there's a ton of drawing books. In fact, I'm going to show some more that I bought that are doing step outs now, whether it's for drawing, whether it's for painting. Um, I think if you take things step by step that way, um, all of a sudden the impossible becomes possible, you know? So don't ever say you can't because you can. And then next last Tuesday, Robert and I decided, hi, Julie. Hi, Lori. Um, 5, 12 a.m. in Sydney, Australia. Oh, my gosh. You need to go to bed, Angry Rabbit. Sweet dreams to you. Hi, Mousy Deb. Um, but we decided last Tuesday, just kind of out of the blue, to hop in the car and go up to um, Joplin, get some groceries, because my cat won't eat anything I freaking buy her, so I went up there to try and find some food she'll eat. Um, anyway... This is one of the books I got, and I, I just got it because they had some drawing books really cheap there. This one was 12 bucks, and I have to, well, no, I don't have to be careful anymore on YouTube, but it does have some nudes in it, but I bought it primarily because of the people section in the back because, you know, Kathy's doing our drawing class, so I thought, well, for 12 bucks, it'll be good. I'll try to get past the nudes so you guys don't have to see that if you don't want to, but I thought this section was really good with the skull. And then the musculature of the face. Um, I think it helps if you know that. Not ne absolutely necessary, but I think it helps. And then proportions, stuff like that, which Kathy's been working on with us. Oops. Eileen, look away. You already saw the penis. <laughs> Okay, Patty Tolly Parish. <laughs> Hi, Dee Dee. I loved your show this morning, Dee Dee. Your animals were so awesome. This is one of the books. I just showed the Joanna Bassford book that you sent me um, and lectured them on everybody can draw. But see how they just start with an outline drawing and, and watching Dee Dee this morning, you know, where you just start simple and then you build on what you have. No drawing is going to come out finished. And you're never going to, you know, the day you start, you're not going to be a master, but you got to start somewhere. Okay, so Kathy's back so I can show the other thing. Anyway, this is just, I thought, a really good drawing book. All the different kind of trees. And when I don't know what to do, usually what I do is go grab one of these books. And even if I only draw like one element, to work on shading or to get my circle, circle, you know, if you need a circle, get a template. That's my free advice to you. So yeah, just your basic ultimate drawing book for little money. And then the next one is kind of the same way. It's um, 
artist complete book of drawing projects step by step. I got this one. It was really cheap, like seven bucks. But it, again, has the step outs. So there's no excuse. You can no longer say, I thought I bought this one because of the architecture things. Because Kathy showed us a little bit about perspective. And I did buy the perspective books, too. I think I showed them before, though. But graphite is still my favorite kind of art. I That's why I've so enjoyed. I should draw that for Eileen, huh? Um, yeah, graphite is still my favorite. That's why I'm loving Kathy Arbor's class because we're just using graphite. And then eventually maybe I'll add start adding some color. But for seven bucks, this is a really, really good instructional book, you guys. It really is. Quick drawing of a little girl. You could do that. So, yeah. And these were at Books A Million. But I'm sure Barnes & Noble or anybody else has them. And I don't think these were a special price. Um, they don't have the price printed on them. It's on the tag. But... I would bet that you could get them at Barnes and Noble or um, Amazon just as cheap. I like these shoes. I will be drawing these shoes. I do this step by step. Looks nothing like what's in the book. <laughs> Poor Carla. Um, keep at it, Carla. Carla, it will. Um, you will get where your drawings look like. I like the boots, too. These remind me of Brad Boots, Dee Dee. Um, Keep after it. Keep after it. And go watch Kathy Arbor. She'll give you really good tips. Kathy's in the chat, so you can click on her name. Go over on the right side, those three little dots. Go to her channel and hit go to my, her channel and subscribe. So, yeah, just a really simple, quick drawing book. And if that wasn't enough, this is my favorite one that I got was um, Mark Criley. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Crilly, Criley. Anyway, you're welcome, Kathy. Um, I love everything about Mark. So um, this is a self-portrait of Mark. Um, again, he does some step outs. He does a lot of manga art. Um, but when I saw this, and what he does is his approach is minimalist almost. Um, hi, Sharon. Krill, like dill. Thank you, Krilly. Anyway, um, his approach is don't go out and buy a bunch of expensive art supplies. Get yourself a number two pencil and a black colored pencil. And... Um, and I kind of agree with him. Um, that's pretty much how I've been doing Kathy's drawings, but apparently I don't use the black enough. But I will, I'm going to absolutely get my contrast better if it kills me. So this is, in my opinion, a really good book. I would recommend any of his books, frankly. Um, his thing is all about contrast. Yes, exactly. So I'll be doing some of these, and he's got this step out so you can work along with the projects. Um I will definitely be doing projects out of this book for sure. Because every little bit you do helps, you know, and, and a lot of it, I think, is just building up your confidence even. I was going to say, is that washi tape? <laughs> it's not. I did order that book, though, Dee Dee. The Linda Berry one, unlike you, I'm a huge fan. So is Paula. Paula's a huge fan of Linda Berry. She's got her very own unique style. Like, I love this, the um, middle top with the reflections. Hey, Carrie Ann. You're up awful early. Somebody from Australia was just in here saying it was 5, 12 in the morning or something. It's like, what are you doing up? Paul is here. You blame her. Well, I think actually I bought my first Linda Berry book because of Paula. And that's been years ago. 
so that was that. And then the last book um, I bought for my own happy birthday was Step by Step Guide to Watercolor Painting. So I haven't forgotten about my watercolor. I still use it in the bees virtually every day. But I like this book. And I used my um, Hobby Lobby 40% off coupon on this. And the only other thing I bought at Hobby Lobby that day was two white pens. I really did not buy a bunch of junk. Look at that. That's beautiful. Someday I'm going to be able to do that. But yeah, he does the step by step by step, which I think right now um, I can sure use. You think your first one is a comic book before Paula was born? That's quite possible. I so regret not buying that day. Mine, I don't know when mine will be here. But yeah, so I bought a watercolor book. So if you don't do watercolor, you don't care about this. But I get excited about this. And I, I actually do sit down and read the book, not just look at the pictures. And then when I was putting my books away, I found a book that I bought that I've never used. So I'm going to get this out and play with it too. This goes a step further from Kathy Arbor's and starts adding color. So, yeah, I will be playing with this book, too. I can't believe I bought it and I never used it. Can you guys believe that, that I would buy a supply and not use it? <laughs> okay. And then, like I was just talking about Kathy Arbor, I was just, um, hang on. I put... Um, deli paper in here so that I don't get a lot of um, graphite. Oh, that one was awful. I'm not showing you that one. This was my made up face for our homework this week. Came out pretty good. I haven't made the corrections that Kathy offered, but this one I just made up all of the um, made up. I wasn't looking at anything when I did this. That was hard for me. It was really hard for me. To just make up um, features and slap it all together and come up with a face, a realistic face. Now, if I'm just making a cartoon or something, that doesn't bother me. But a realistic face, that's more difficult. And then this one, I was actually looking at the book. I'll show you the original. And Kathy said this. I knew that I was goofy, but let me I think I have the book right here. Okay, here's what I was drawing off of. There's the original. And see, I probably do have her eye a little bit big. So I'm going to erase that and redo it. But I was pretty happy with how she turned out. It is my birthday month, Dee Dee. Hi, Mary. So, so yeah, I was pretty happy with the way this came out. The highlights and everything. And then this is the one that I really, really wanted to show you guys. Because I'm really happy and I wanted to see it on camera. Is this set of old guy eyes. And I should cover up everything else so you can only look at it. But I don't have anything. Oh, well. Don't those old lies, eyes look cool? Poor third guy. He's old. Well, the, the page that I was drawing off of um, was showing emotion in eyes or age or, you know, what a person's eyes will tell you about that person. Um, you know, this guy's kind of a frowny, um, got a worried look. Uh, and this one was just talking about women's eyes, how women's eyes are different. But then this old one. It was just like, this is cool. I'm happy with that one. Because you can definitely tell the guy's an old fart. Thanks, Kathy. So that's what I did yesterday. I sat under my cool new happy birthday blanket and drew eyes. And I've got space to do some more, so I probably will be doing that. So I'm loving Kathy's class. Loving it. Um, and I look forward to doing my homework. 
I'm glad you got home and you aren't off in a ditch somewhere. You? Yeah, I said, I'm glad you're not off in a ditch somewhere. Oh, me too. <laughs> getting bad out there. Is it really? Mm -hmm. We're getting really crappy weather and it's starting to snow a little bit. Ugh, I hate snow. Thanks, Sharon. Um, so anyway, and then my friend Eileen, I don't even know what to show first. I'll show the paper first. I got a box in the mail. I don't know when. It was Thursday, I guess. Thursday or fr Friday. Eileen said, hi, my sweet Robert. Tell her hi. It's sleeting there. Yeah, it just started here a little while ago. Dee, Dee says, hi, scissor hands. <laughs> You're right. When we're on the phone, Dee, Dee sings him the tomato killer song or something. Anyway, she sent me this package of cool paper. And this is what was this one, Eileen, to make me feel my age? It's vintage, vintage paper. And I did take five sheets out. It should be these first top five, I think. But this packet has, um, it's all vintage, but it's got five different attack of the killer tomatoes. That's it. Yeah. I'm in Hawaii and far from the snow at home. Oh, you're so lucky. Yeah, old paper, just like me. That's, that's what it is. The peony killer. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm looking forward to spring to see if it comes back again. But it feels, I mean, it's nice paper. Um, and I don't know what it smells like. I have this thing about smells. So this, she told me I need to make a book out of it. And it is front and back. So if I fold it and turn it into a book. Um, if you want some, go ahead. But I won't be drinking much for the next few hours. So go ahead and have it. Oh, okay. Okay, then don't make any. So that was my old paper, like me. But what's really cool is... Yeah, I like that it's double-sided, too, because if I make it into a book, you know, it's a pattern front and back. So that's way cool. And then these are way cool. You always smell your new books? Yeah, I think it's, I don't know if it's the packaging or what, but most things, when I take them out, it's just like, ooh, that's a strong smell. Um, she sent me these old-looking envelopes. They're like craft type. These are awesome. I love these. I will be definitely be decorating these. Yeah, I love the paper. I love the envelopes that go with it. Yeah, I'm loving this. So even though she's the biggest pain in the ass in chat, how can I be mean to her? For real, how could I be mean to her? I think she's just buttering me up for the mess she's going to have me make later. Yeah, the envelopes are cool. All right. You can send me 50 letters. And <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you some advice, Eileen. Do not hold your breath waiting for that letter to come in the mail. Just saying. And then in that same box is what we're going to play with today. And I had actually used at... Um, I guess it was Hobby Lobby, and I don't even know if they're supposed to carry him. Um, and I didn't want to go to um, Michael's that day. So she sent me the whole set of color shift paints. So I thought today we would get shifty and play with these. Okay, what does it say about them? Colors reflect different metallic color in changing light. Blue, violet, flash to gold. Superior metallic acrylic paint for decorative crafts and decor. Shake well. Let dry two hours between coats. Oops. Cures in 24 hours. Clean while wet with soap and water. Water-based, non-toxic. So we're going to play with these today. I got out the jelly plate. But I need to test them and see what the color shifts are. Yeah, I'm excited. And I... 
I think they'll work well on black paper, don't you think? You love shifty business? Yeah, well, I'm excited to see them. Can you see the colors on the top? And this is printed, you know, it's not the actual paint. So I don't know if we'll get the same results, but it's shimmery and gloomery, which is totally tri-black. Yeah, that's what I thought I'd do is try black first. And I was going to use, um, I'll just do it on black paper. How about that? Okay, get some water out. Oops. I guess I could just do it with my finger, right? Actually, if they work good, I have never jelly plated on black paper. I wonder if we should try that. All right, we're going to just test one first. It said shake well, so they're pretty on black, but they're transparent. So one coat is shimmery and two coats shows the color on black. Okay, well, we're going to find out. What was she thinking reading directions? Well, oh, holy crap, quit coming out. Can you guys see the blue in that? It's kind of like a pink blue. Okay, I'm going to do it on white at the same time so we can see the difference between them. And I'm just going to do it on copy paper, I think. That blue with the pink is pretty. Everyone uses the color ship paints on jelly plates, hoping you'd give us a new idea for them. Well, we can do that. I've never, see, I don't watch many um, jelly plate streams. I can't believe I got that paint all over the place. Okay, on white, it looks like it's a pink orange shift. But on the black, it looks or pink blue. I love that. Got to get out of baby wipe for my finger. They remind you of the golden interference paints. Okay. It is very shifty. And I've never seen or used the golden interference. So I don't know <clears throat> how they would compare to that. I, I really don't have a clue. Um, and try and put this paint back in because this is a mess, I tell you. I can't believe it's snowing outside. All right, I'm just going to put the rest of the paint down and let it dry. I know, and y'all probably think I'm crazy that I cleaned the bottle. <laughs> so different you like the black paper better um yeah i it's definitely pretty on the black no doubt about that it's not snowing here yeah i know eileen i need to pack my bikini and get my stinky butt down there fight the cats for the couch or something okay this is the green one do they have names yeah this is green flash Wow, that's bright. Holy cow. It's nice and gold on the black, but I don't know what it shifts to. Okay, I guess green to gold on the black. That's a nice gold. And then on the white, it's hard to see the shift on the white, at least to me. Are you guys seeing it? Yeah, so far I'm liking it on the black too.
This one is Aqua Flash. Hi, Lucy. Anybody else I might have missed? Arlene. Come on. Oh, that is so pretty. Yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to jelly plate on black. <laughs> Just to try it, and then we can... Um, do a journal page or something if we want. Because I didn't really have any plans. I didn't sleep last night, so I was got up this morning thinking, you know what, I'm going to have to cancel today so I can take a nap. But now that I'm up, I'm not really tired. I'll go to bed early tonight, though. It was a fun weekend. I like it on the white. I just like the color on the white, just the aqua kind of color. But the on the black, look at that. That is pretty. I think somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you can buy these at Walmart too, can't you? Did I see, um, was it Joycey posted a picture of them at Walmart? And I know Paula got a couple colors at Michael's. But you know, I don't know why you guys, I just can't hardly stand going to Michael's anymore. Yeah, these are yummy on the black, especially. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, these are going to be black paints, kind of like the Paul Rubens. The Paul Ruben um, metrics are just not that nice on white paper, but you put them on black and boy, are they cool. Because I don't see much other than this one that goes from pink to orange. I don't see much shift on the white paper. And maybe that's by design. Hi, Judy. That one was purple flash. Here we got yellow, yellow flash. Oh, I wonder if I'm shaking these enough. I might not be. All right, I'll shake it better this time. You got yours from Walmart 377 and the Dragonfly too. What's Dragonfly, Josie? I guess I could look on Walmart.com and see if they have them. I wouldn't think to look. But now I have all eight colors, so it doesn't matter. I think there are only eight colors. Oh, that one's so pretty. Can you see that? It goes from yellow to pink. In real life, it on camera, it looks very close to this one. But in real life, it doesn't. It's going from like yellow to pink. Yeah, see on the top, you can kind of see. That's cool. Is that what it's called? It's a sheen. Okay. Okay, Starla. Hi, Starla. Says she got hers at Walmart. So, see, these are available to everybody. And I know you can get them on um, Amazon. I had looked at them on Amazon the other day. Um, you could buy the whole set. I don't remember. It was $30, something like that. There is five colors. No, there. I got eight. Eileen sent me eight of them. Oh, wow. Now, that pukey purple, Eileen, you have to like that. You have to love that. Okay, and somebody else, Azure, just said, hi, by the way, um, there's 15 colors. Eight is probably plenty for me. I like that one on the white. I just like the color itself. But I don't see much shift. I guess there's kind of a purpley shift. And I can see the gold in this now, but no pink. No, they're definitely better on black. No doubt about it. 
because this one looks blue, but look at on the on the black paper, it's purple. I don't know if the camera's not showing that, darn it. Uh, uh, dragonfly is a glaze. Okay. What would I use a glaze for? I suppose just on any project if I wanted, right? But Okay, this one's Blue Violet Flash. Oh, wow. This one, oh, on the black, that is so nice. It's, um, I don't even know, kind of like a silvery gold. Those are nice. Let's see what it does on the white. Ooh. That is the weirdest color. Okay, on white, it shifts from kind of purpley to silver. Undoubtedly silver. You guys aren't seeing it. But it's definitely like a periwinkle blue. And then silver when the light hits it. They're cool. I still like it best on black too, Eileen. I really do. And then this one is black flash. So we'll see what it does on the black. PBO also has some shifty light paints. Um, yeah, I've seen those. Oh, man, this started puking out just like the first one. Stop it already. Now I just sent paint flying everywhere. Way to go. I bet you I have it on my face. I just moved some of that on the other colors. What brand are these? These are Folk Art. Folk Art Color Shift. So they're going to be there in the craft section. Well, I it probably depends on your Walmart would be my guess. Some Because some Walmarts, the smaller Walmarts that have the smaller craft sections, they may not. Look at this. It's got a bubble that needs to come out. Come on, burp. Burp. There you go. Oh, okay, Eileen, you got your way. I've already got a mess, and I haven't even done anything yet. I'll have a shiny, colorful face. Yes, sir. -y. Wally has them. Okay. Yeah, but I'm not sure if all Walmarts will. I think it depends on the size. If you have a super center, for sure. But some towns in Oklahoma don't have super centers yet. Cool. I like them. Thank you, Eileen. I don't care what Dee, Dee says. You're all right. All right. I need to get, oh, crap. And I washed my um, rags this weekend. And I haven't put them back yet. So I have no paint rags. Hey. <laughs> All right, we're going to jelly plate first on um, cuz I want to jelly plate with black paper. Cuz I've never done that for one. Look at how cool. And then let me think about this. Okay, be thinking cuz I've never done black before. And I love Paula's crusty bits. Um, I'm thinking I need to get out the black paint because if I'm using the color shift, 
and I want to pick up all the um, crusty bits, black paint would show the best. So I need to go get some black paint. It will shift with all paints also best on black. Okay. It was. Don't go telling her how all sweet she is. God. I'm not sure I love this master's touch black on the jelly plate, but we're going to use it anyway. I need to send them to Janet so the mess will stay at her house. Exactly. Use the black paint at the end. Okay, we could try that. Um... Yeah, we could try the black because the black comes out kind of bronzy is what I would call it. I don't know. If I had to pick a favorite, this or the, I don't know, the blues obviously are always going to be my favorite. And then these are truly metallic colors. So, oh, and I didn't get out any stencils either. I'm real prepared, hey? She did send the black. Yeah, I'm going to get some stencils out. I'll just go grab a bunch out of your box. I got out the little shape ones, too. Let me go get a handful. Well, well let me get it. I'll just bring out the whole box. Okay, we got a bunch now. So hard to make decisions on stencils. I'm going to make a monkey one. <laughs> Use black regular paint for a pull-up. Yeah, that's why I went and got it. I think it depends on the age of the Walmart, um, Eileen. My Walmart is pretty clean because they never leave anything in one place long enough for it to get dirty. I got so mad the other day. Robert and I went in there, and I swear he probably wishes I'd just do um, pickup now. I was so angry because they had moved everything again. It's like they don't leave anything in one place um, long enough for you to figure out where the hell to find their stuff. All right, we'll put this up here. All right, what color should we use first? This is too much fun. Let's use the, this one, it's pretty, the Aqua Flash. Lots of years closed down because no one went there. Really? Uh, in, the, in the south down here, Arkansas, Missouri, Oklahoma. Honestly, if you don't like Walmart, you got no place to shop. Well, it's a marketing ploy, Joan, no doubt about it, that they, they move things around to get you to walk up and down the aisles more. There's no doubt in my mind that that's their approach. And then you spend more. But they don't realize that it's so damn frustrating for the customer that honestly, I was, I told Robert, I'm never coming, I was cussing. 
like, I'm never coming back to this way, but very. <laughs> it's like, calm down. <laughs> You know, Arlene, I think we all depend on the dot-coms, whether we're physically capable or not. Um, it's just so easy. I mean, their websites are good. They, um, You can find what you want if you want to browse. They're easy to browse. Yeah, it, to me, um, I can't get, oh, and look at this, my new Bob Ross. Because when I saw it at the bookstore, I picked it up and Robert was looked at me like, what the hell are you buying that for? And I said, Dee Dee has one. Because <laughs> I want to be just like Dee Dee. That's really thin. And it could be just, I don't know. about. Oh, that's too much. Damn it. All right. We're just going to have too much. Um, so, yeah, that's my new little Bob Ross guy. Living large on Monkey Island. He is. All right. That looks pretty smooth to me. And I'm just cleaning off on deli paper. So I might want to get some. Um, hell, I didn't pick out a stencil yet. Do we want a blue monkey? I'll do the monkey first just because I like him. I thought it was the old Luke Skywalker. And you can shop in your PJs. No doubt about that. Which one do we want? Let's do this big one. He's going to fit perfect. Okay. But I got to take a minute. I wish I had some different tape. Oh. I'll just let those little pieces show through while it's drying. Or try one of those envelopes. Oh, we could do that, Barbara. That's a good idea. He didn't come out so good, but that's okay. I, he's good enough for what I want to use him for. Um, I need to get out some different paper. And just FYI, if you want to learn jelly plating, plating, go find some other channel because I'm not a good jelly plate person. There's some people out there that are really good. I'm not one of them. I don't know. I bought this stencil for a specific purpose. I think I wanted this monkey face. And I, I think I've used it once or twice since then. All right, I'm going to go ahead and let that dry. Start a stack of dirty. All right, and on top of him, I'll have a couple sheets going at once. I'll just use this big tree one. Bit of the monkey looking guy. Because I'm just right now trying to um, build up some crusty bits. Because it's really the crusty bits that I like. In fact, I'm going to roll this out a little bit to get rid of the monkey guy. It's drying pretty good. Okay, I'm going to do it. Because that's drying now. So let's do the pink on top of the monkey. The monkey design is still going to exist when I do the cleanup print, though, would be my guess. 
the reverse. I can't ever remember to do Paula's crusty bits. It's thin coats, right? Thin coats of paint. You know what? I should be doing this in that journal. I have Paula here. She could tell me in her own words, and I don't have to depend on Eileen to lie to me. But I was going to do the tree one. Hi, Gail. <laughs> just seeing if you're paying attention, Eileen. Just seeing if you're paying attention. And really, right now, I'm just building up crusty bits. You love to watch jelly prints. It, to me, it's always so messy. So unless I do it on stream, I never get it out. Otherwise, oh, that's cool looking. I'll put something else on top of that too after it dries. All right, the monkey's gone, so that's good. Because any of these pages that I end up with paint on, I have um, I have learned. Eileen's taught me to keep them because you can turn them into trash art. Do I have gold flakes? Yes, I do. Oh, the stencil? Yeah. Um, let me see. It's just a great big trees, winter trees. Um, it's Crafters Workshop. Designs by Jamie. I think I got it at um, Tuesday morning. Use some on the jelly. Okay, you're going to have to walk me through it because that night that um, Patty was doing it, I, end, I was either cooking or I left early or something, but I never ended up getting to see how it worked. And I've missed Shauna's too, so... Um, I'll go get it. I'm going to use the indigo blue um, flakes. Now, she's just getting me to make a mess. All right. I keep the flakes in a great big box, and I should go get, I'm going to go get the anti-static thing before I even touch them. I don't know how well it's going to work, but I know what these things are like. If there's the least bit of static electricity in the air, these um, indigo these are indigo blue flakes, and you can get them in a bunch of different colors. Once you do your last pull and plate. Hi, Orla. Okay, so once I do the last pull. Maybe cleaner to adhere. I don't know. That's probably sticky right now. Should I do the cleanup print right now just to see what crusty bits are on there? I'm excited to try it, so I think I'm going to try it. I got no room here. We're going to do the cleanup print right now just to see. And I'm going to use the black. And then I'll, on the next one, I'll use regular black acrylic. Because I think 
it will show up with regular black better. So we're going to try. And that should have um, dried long enough, I think. We're going to find out, aren't we? And I'm not taking credit for this. This is totally Paula's. And look at my brayer quit rolling again. Oh, why does it do that? That annoys me. All right. Ready? Now, the three-minute rub. Try it on white paper instead of black. Um, on the white paper, Lucy... I don't think the colors were as as brilliant or as in your face. Where did I put that sheet that I was doing it on? I'll find it next week when I end up cleaning up this mess. And when you, if you're watching the recording and and I'm talking about Paula, um, you can find her channel. It's Journal Artista, Paula Phillips. Um, She's an amazing art journaler, and she's finally art journaled what last Saturday night for the first time in over a year. So go back to Paula's channel because she's active again. And I didn't get to go to her stream because we had company, so I've got like streams to catch up on from the weekend. But it is over black, silly. Geesh, what? Oh, you mean put the, I see what you're saying. Do the white paper with the black paint. I get it. Okay, we'll try one like that too. I'm hoping this is coming out. It looks like it is. Yeah, probably, let's see, tomorrow is Kathy Berg. And then Lena's not streaming. So maybe tomorrow. I'll be able to um, catch up on some streams. Tonight I have to watch Jamie's show. Um, if you were at Dee Dee, she announced um, my son is on a show called Unexplored and Unexplained, I think is the name of it. I hope you guys can see how cool that looks. Gold flex would really be cool on that, too. Can you see that? Yeah, it's totally cool. You watch that, Sharon? Yeah, and I don't, it's a new season just started last night, and I don't even know what it's about. He just, he sent me the trailer um, a few weeks ago, and I watched that and set it up to record, but I haven't seen it yet. It was cool. They need a part two. Um, he's coming back, Didi. He told me he'll be on at least two of them. Um, Didi said he's on toward the end. Tall, skinny, homeless person with a big beard. It's on the Discovery Channel. And it's called Unexplained. Undiscovered and unexplained or something like that. It's on Sundays at 9 o'clock Central. So I'm liking that. All right. So now I'm going to do the gold flakes. Yeah, Dee Dee said he's on toward the end. And last night I just was too tired to even, I knew it was recording. And I don't like to watch the commercials. I shouldn't say that. But I don't like the commercials. So... And I don't know how long he's on. Um, you know, that's another thing. It might be just a short appearance because his job would be to come on probably and um, talk about LIDAR, the actual technology. Um, and then his staff do the, um, the actual data collection 
and data processing. Hey, Didi was, um, oh, for God's sakes, about five minutes. Okay. Um, was there a girl there with him? His girlfriend was with him. Okay, good. All right. Well, I'm excited to try that. Tell me what I'm doing with these gold flakes. Just put them on, just grab a handful and put them on. Her name is Jill. And I love her. This is, um, this indigo blue gold flake changes colors as well. You can order it. I'm sure it's still available. Um, This crap will probably never come off my plate. Stick them on the plate. Okay. But yeah, you can order these um, indigo blue flakes in lots of different colors. I'll just put them on random. This is going to look cool. And so then I put the color shift paint on on top of them. And then burnish them down, I guess. I don't know how. I saw some of Shauna's um, pulls that she posted on Twitter. Yeah, these are nice flakes. They really are. The only thing is, like I put, um, I used a dryer sheet on my hands. They are so susceptible to electricity. So if you have any static in the air, they go everywhere, but they work really cool with, if you haven't ever seen it, with the flutter glue and um, stamp. All right, so now I need to put a color on top of them. All right, hopefully they'll pull up that I didn't press them down too hard. What color? Do you want it? Do you want to do the purple this time? What color did the purple come out? Where did my color sheet go? How could I lose everything? Probably under this stack of um, stencils. There it is. But I still don't know where the white one went. Hmm. <laughs> All right, and I found the stencil that I want to use on this one next time. All right, so we're just going to use the purple this time because it's going to come out this color. I hope this works because it's going to be cool if it does. Oops. Do, oh, I was going to say it comes off on your brayer because this brayer is already a big pain in the ass. Now I've just turned it into a bigger pain in the ass. Yay me. That's all right. It'll show up on some future print where I don't want it. Yeah, comes right off on the brayer. How do you like that? All right. Should I use a stencil on this? Look at her. She's just going, aha, I didn't tell her. Has anyone seen a composition book? I have not, Paula. Oh, wait. Um, Dee Dee, did you find one? I think Dee Dee found some. They're going to be on my stencil, too. Oh, my God. I can already tell. This is going to be huge, the hugest. Mess to clean up ever. I don't know how this is going to work. We're going to find out. Wasn't you? What kind? What did you get? Oh, was it the dot grid paper or something? I know you got some special that I looked for and couldn't find. 
We never got them here. Dot grid. Okay. I knew it was something, something special, but I've never seen any kind of colored paper ones. You need to talk to a paper company about doing something about that. Is that what you wanted, Eileen? I think that's going to just fall right off. I like the dots, though. I can see how that could be really cool. Why wouldn't... I think it would work if you were going to do it on a cleanup print, too. They had them in the 70s. Hold it up. You're on your phone. Hold it up. See the color shifting? Because, see, when I'm looking at it in real life, you guys on the camera are seeing it as blue. Um, in real life, I can see the purple that, of the original color in there, too. I think the camera is not doing a good job of picking up the shift itself. Okay, and I'm thinking I want to do something else on top of this. I'm going to burnish this down a little bit so it will stick to the acrylic paint. And I've still got that underneath. I knew it was going to do that. It's all right. I'm just going to put it back. And I can't. I'm just thinking about putting more paint on top of it. I think I'm going to. I guess it'll come off in the sink. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use this as a cleanup print, so I'm going to use one of those lighter colors. And just I'm just layering now, right? Bye, Devin. Have a fun afternoon. Yeah, because the blue, I'm trying to think. Yeah, the blue should stand out or mix with this yellow. I wish I'd written down which colors were which now. Because the, the pink, okay. I think the pink is, actually came out this, and I'm kind of thinking I might want to do the pink. I think I'm going to do that. Because the mixture of those two will be really cool. It's only 9.13 in the morning there. It is weird to think five hours. I think it's five hours difference to Hawaii. I'm going to do another layer. And I'm going to do it on that tree one. Something smells really good, but I don't know what it is. Okay, the circles are going to still be there. I'll do the tree one again so I'll leave some of those circles because it's even though I'm going to click pick up with that we're just going to see just because we can I'm going to turn it upside down this time though And then I'll do a black cleanup on white paper and see what we end up with. And hopefully some of the gold flakes will come up this time and then hopefully some of them will come on the next.
Yeah, some of them are coming up each time. That's cool. I like that. Can you see the shift on camera real good? You can you guys can't see the the different colors like I can. At least it's not showing up on my screen. Still cool looking. All right. Now I'm going to do the black one on um, white paper. So it was Patty who thought up this, um, the gold flakes, right? She was the first one I saw do it. Maybe she saw somebody else do it. I'm not fighting with that. I know that. All right. Should I use the color shift black or the regular black? You need to get them to stick to the clean jelly print better before adding paint. Okay. You can see the two colors. Hi, Colleen. She did it by accident. Okay. Cool. Cool. I love when an accident creates cool stuff. All right. Nobody said anything about this cleanup print, so I'm going to use the color shift black on white paper and see what it does. Oh, I lost the white sheet. That's why. Hmm. Oh, well, we're going to do it anyway. This crap may be on my plate until the end of time. Okay. Clean up print. Hopefully we'll get some really, really good crusty bits. Not if you do the cleanup all the way, it will stick to your, clean to your plate. Okay. Turn the plate over and stop complaining. Okay. <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> I think the bottom of my plate has some marks in it. Since when are you concerned with someone in fumes, I think? <laughs> Good question, Paula. I'm never sure if I've rubbed it long enough, you know? Hi, Barbara. I agree with you. Love seeing Paula back creating. and I don't know. There's just really no downside to art that I can see. Well, you spend a lot of money. But you don't have to. That's by choice. All right. It is taking it up pretty good but you can't see the other colors that were down below the black obliterated the other color well no i can see the purple here's how i'm going to take care of that since this has gold on it anyway i'll just smush it down this way um yeah you can't really see it Until you shift it just right. That's not a good thing. Yeah, you can see it when you move the paper a little bit, but not. I wanted the circles is what I wanted. So I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and leave this, let it dry, but I'm going to go ahead and jelly on top of this one. With the gold, the gold should stick out on that black, don't you think? I'm going to cut it down so I have a better chance of getting the image in the right place. You know what I mean? Burn. 
I love hearing Paula say that. Okay, we're going to do a gold design, and I'm going to use that same stencil because I like the circles. Because we're just playing. I've still got some of the gold on there, but I don't really care. All right, let me see what which yellow or green I want. I know it was the yellow that turned pink. I think this was the green one. And then this was the other one. I want that bright. So let's try that. Can you remove some black through a stencil? Remove some black through a stencil. You mean before I do the pull-up print, Mary? I'm going to go ahead and just jelly plate on top of it now. And hopefully, because of the color shift, the black won't absorb it all. Know what I mean? So I'll end up with my circles. Too much paint. My brayer isn't wanting to move it, but that's fine. I like not to have big marks in my paint. Ugh. This brayer is about ready to piss me off. Use a baby wipe to remove like Paula did. You, on the plate, the gold, there's just a couple. It's not that big a deal. But that's what you're talking about. All right, I need to read chat. I really love this stencil. I'm going to turn it over, though, so I don't get that gold. All right, that should be fairly close. Do the stencil in the paper. Use the baby wipe to remove. Oh, okay. Um, did she did that on the jelly plate? She was doing that on her journal page, wasn't she? I've seen her do it a lot of times. Um, scrape paint and then put the stencil on and then remove it with a baby wipe. I've seen that, but I don't think I've ever seen it on the jelly plate. I could be absolutely wrong, though. Somebody tell me if I'm wrong on the page. Oh, okay. Well, after it's dry, you can't pull it up that way. Hey, Paula, what did you do? I don't know why I'm rubbing for... Th yeah, see, this is cool now. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Now, and I'll still have these crusty bits on the plate. Yeah, it looks like planets, right? This circle stencil, honestly, if you ever see one, probably the best money I've ever spent. I use it a lot, and I like the, um, I have another one that I cut that is just like a checkerboard kind of. I love that one, too. Yeah, this came out pretty darn good. That's one thing I like about the, the jelly plate, you know, because now if I wanted to, I could go ahead and do something on top of this. And if you're doing single layers, I mean, it's just like a, a printing press. Um, you can just add layers and layers and layers. Back to binding. So that's a, that's a good one. I like this one. Um, now I have to decide. I'm going to let that dry. So that's my first layer of crusty bits, and I hope I don't lose it as we go. There's always that chance. Okay, that half sheet will work. Okay, we'll put that aside and let it dry a little bit. All right, what color should we play with next? We've got um, this color is on the plate. 
Um, which one was this? I guess when in doubt, spread it and see, but I think it's that one. Not familiar enough with that. Oh, colors yet. Oh, no, this one was the silver. So there's not enough contrast there to get... Um, I think a good image. I'm really wanting that blue, whichever one it was. That one was that. I do remember that. I don't remember which one was the. It couldn't possibly have been this one, could it? Isn't that crazy that you can't remember? That is it. Believe it or not that pink becomes that really cool blue. So we're gonna put that on top. Try some on some of the darker new paper and envies, the purplish one. Mm. You wanna try it on um, this one that I'm gonna pull right now? Cause that's gonna be crusty and it's gonna be gold with blue. Let's try that. I don't want to waste them, though, because I really do love these. All right, we're going to use this one. Straighten up. Only, you know what? I should. That's probably 10 times more paint than I need. Um, I would actually like some of that brown to show through through on this so I shouldn't do a cleanup print because I'm going to cover the whole envelope and I don't want to do that I have to think a lot when I do jelly print to think about okay when you pull it up what's it actually going to look like um so and look at on white that comes out yellow but I think it's going to come out blue on black we're going to try there's 50 envelopes. Yeah, but I've got to write you 50 letters. You're down to 49 now. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do this as a cleanup and pick up that gold. We can always put it back down again. Um, I'll tell you, Colleen. It's a Donna Downey signature stencil. Don't know where I got it, but it is a Donna Downey stencil. That's why I saved the packaging. One, because it makes the um, stencils easier to flip through because I just keep them in a box and flip through them. And then also so that I can tell you guys um, who makes it where you, maybe you could order it. Okay, Shauna said you, she has it. You can get it from her site. So there you go. I don't know where I got mine. Probably I got it at I Stencils then. Because at one time, a long time ago, I did a big order there. Doing the three-minute rub so I get as much as I can. Oh, I like this one too. All right, and that pink came out. I like the darkness of this on the black. I really do. I think that is cool looking. Okay, if if I cut circles out of this to use for trash art or for other art, this is going to be awesome. You have it? Okay, good, Colleen. It's a good stencil. It really is. I love this. I like both those circle ones. Anything with a circle on it, I'm a fan. Huge fan. I like this one better than this one, though. The blue gold. I like this one better than this one. This is good, though. I mean, I'll be able to use it, but I like this one better. 
and you guys are going, but they're all going to look the same. Well, probably. <laughs> you like the first one better. Hmm. And see, that would have come out totally different. The next one I pick up, I'm going to pick up, I'll do it with white paper, but I'm going to use the um, regular black acrylic. I really like the circles too. And I want to, I got to find that other stencil that I really, really love. I think on the jelly plate, stencils with larger openings work a little bit better. Um, this is also a really cool circle one, but I cut this one myself. I cut that one myself. Um, maybe it's in the small. Can you try the lime green one, please? I will do that. This is the lime green one and it, I couldn't tell what its shift was. This was the lime green one. Okay, it turns a really pretty gold. Okay, I'm going to work on top of this one eventually. This one too. Hmm, not sure about that. But this one is, it will be good to work on top of. And this one, too, because I'm not loving it, but I think there's hope for it. But, oops, I lost my pop-out chat just a second. There we go. Yeah, that one turns to gold. Let me see. Okay, I like this stencil, too. Yeah. All right. In fact, I'll um, do it on top of this one. I cut a lot of my own stencils. Um, I don't have as much time. But sometimes I see one or I get an idea. Bob, you can get paint on you. Um, and I just cut my own. I can't tell if the crap on my brayer, this brayer is about ready to piss me off. All right, it'll work okay. I don't care if there's some distress in it. You like the Bob Ross on? No, but well, that's just so I can be just like Dee Dee, only she has the finger puppet. They didn't have the finger puppet. I just painted Bob Ross. No, I came close, but I didn't actually get paint on him. If I did, I'd have to give him a bath. Okay. Yeah, this is getting pretty interesting. Because remember, I'll cut these up and use them for something else. Crazy people don't have anything to do, Seth. So. <laughs> Are you calling me crazy? Okay, bye, Barbara. Have a fun afternoon. All right, thinking what I want to do next, because this will be on the cleanup. Yeah, because I wanted to do it with the black, but I think I would like that pink with the gold. 
on top of the black. All right, what else do I want to use? Do I want to do circles with the squares? Not the same circles, that different one. And then clean it all up with black. Now the brayer's working better. Go figure. Yeah. Liar, liar, pants on fire. This one is going to be really, really thin. And I'm going to put it on top of this one. Okay. I like them when they get a few more layers on it. Like I like this one because some of that gold came off here and there. So that's starting to look really cool. And I'm hoping this will make for a really good cleanup print, but I don't know. Or should I just keep adding to and just see what it ends up? Oops. All right, holler what you want me to do next. We're going to do the envelope. Should I do the envelope with this one? I wouldn't mind some blue on it now. Hmm. <laughs> what was the color shift of that? See, I'm still having to look up every time I want to do something. That I think the um, this purple one was this one down here. And that's not going to be that different from the other one that I had on there. So, and I've got the gold. Just thinking, did you watch Paula's stream from Saturday? No, I haven't yet. Um, yeah, I was busy Saturday, so I couldn't be at Paula's. I was bummed because I did see the notification. I was like, oh, man, I can't go to Paula's. But luckily, it's recorded, so it's all good. I'm trying to think of a color that's going to work well with these because I've got that blue, purple, the gold, and it's kind of a pink. So I'm trying to think, but I don't want to cover this whole envelope. I almost wish I had a clear. So this would just show up on the envelope as is, you know. I did hear Jane Davenport was there. Hi, Allie, by the way. Um, I did hear that Jane was there. I thought that was awesome. Yeah, I really wish I had a clear. And the yellow comes out as all gold. Just thinking here, guys. I don't want to put black because I'm afraid the black would just cover up everything. Because the black does come out kind of like a gray. I've got to put a color of paint on there. That's what I'm worried about. All right, I'm going to go with. Kind of the turquoisey because it's the only thing that I think is gonna and I'll put on just enough to do the cleanup. She's really crabby, isn't she? I needed clear is what I needed, Eileen. 
Oh, look at long blonde hair. <laughs> Golly. Well, long blonde. It used to be blonde. Now it's gray. All right. Now I'm going to do the envelope. Mask it. Mask it. Oh, well. I could have done that. Only the problem is, um, Mary, is I wanted to do a cleanup. So I want to clean up the whole um, plate to start fresh, right? I hope it comes out pretty. And pulls everything up. It's pretty cool looking. I like the color shift. Can you guys see it? I don't think you guys can see it really good. Because you don't see the, well, there you saw some blue when I went like that. But there's pink in there that I don't think you guys can see. Um... I'm glad it's got that little bit of gold. Yeah, it does look nice. Um, I wish I could cover it edge to edge, but that's okay. You can see the pink? Okay. Because I, when I'm shifting it, it's just like, oh, I wonder if they can see all that. Because in there, it looks like some green. And I didn't put green down. It looks green on my to my eyes. It's cool looking all the same. Okay, you guys are saying you can see it? Okay, cool. Yeah, I like that. I'll put that aside and let it dry. All right. Deciding what I want to do. Do we want to keep jelly in or do something different? Let's look at the ones we've got if I need to do anything on top of them. I like that one. I like this one, too. I could actually work on top of this, but I don't think I'll use the color shift. But I will put something on top of this. This one's turning into a mess. The monkey I will use just as he is. Okay, here's some others. I'm going to say, I know we did others. This is probably my favorite. Yeah, I'm liking how the prints come out too. I'm going to try something. I'm going to use put something gold on top of this one. I'm not, now that I see it firsthand, I mean, the, the gold flakes are cool, but um, I'm not sure I'm loving them. Maybe because they came out pink. Can you see that, Eileen? Those are all pink. And maybe they were pink. I don't know. Yeah, I like the black paper, too. This pad, believe it or not, I got it at Hobby Lobby during the um, clearance sale, and I paid a buck for this pad of black paper. All right, I'm going to... Is there any color I haven't used yet? I don't think I've used this one. Which... Is this one down here? All right, we're going to use this one. Well, no, not if I'm going to work on top of this one. I think I'm going to put black on top of that and just let parts of that show through, believe it or not. 
Let me pick out a stencil first. Most of my stencils are small, and I I like a little bit bigger. This one could be cool, though. Let's see if this will pick up any paint. Pissy pink flakes. Eek! I know, right? Yeah, we're going to try this one. I'm going to put black on there. That might work out very cool. But the ones with the smaller shapes, the smaller cutout, um, to me on this, this is a little bit heavier weight paper. It'd probably be okay on deli paper. But on this weight paper, it's a little bit hard to get in those shapes real good. But we're going to give it a go and see. I love this stencil, too, this whirlwind one. I love it. It's way cool. All right, let me see where my corners are. Just rub like crazy. I don't know if I'm getting any of it on this heavier white paper, really. If I can't tell it what I'll do, a little bit. But see what I'm saying about doing it? It's just hard to get it. I wish that'd come out because that would have come out really cool. All right, I'm going to use a piece of deli to go ahead and clean that off. Try and get in those small spaces. See, the deli works great. So I end up with a pretty good design underneath. I'm going to need to order. In fact, I meant to do that before I checked out today. I want to order some of that B paper that all you freaks are using because I don't have enough stuff like that. All right, what color should I pick that up with? Because it's going to look cool. Use two colors at once on the plate. Okay. Mm. All right, I'm going to leave this black. I'm going to... I want to pick this up with um, white paper this time, though. I think I'm going to use this bright, bright blue. It's going to look pretty. All right, we're going to see, and I'm going to pick it up with, I'm going to let that dry for just a minute because I want to pick it up. I don't want it to mix. So I'll have a drink of coffee and talk to you guys in chat because I ain't got nothing better to do. Y'all are boring as hell in chat. Just saying. All right. I'll use this blue on this half. And I'll try. Do I want the green or the yellow? Green or yellow? This was the green. That was the yellow. We're going to do the yellow. And I'll mix them in the middle, but I'll try and um, keep them kind of on their own place in the. Try and 
wash that off just a little bit so I don't get black all over everything. All right, here we go. Did she just say we're boring? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Eileen made me do it. All right. I can't tell if I'm going to get up to anything cool or not. You can see the design in there. This is really strange stuff, I have to say. You'd think that black would show up a lot, lot better, right? I mean, the design is in there, but it's just, that's just weird. I don't know. The texture is cool, though. And remember, I used aqua and yellow. And that's the colors that it came out. Pink in the center and gold on the edges. That's so weird. So weird. But I really wanted the black to show up. So I'm wondering... It's just hard on this paper. The thick paper is, is harder to use that small stencil. <laughs> Wait. Till you use these paints after a few glasses of scotch. Yeah, right. That won't be till New Year's Eve. And there's still crusty bits on the plate. So let me see what other stencils I've got. This, I don't necessarily like the six by six stencils on the jelly plate because they don't cover the whole thing, but I guess that's okay. Yeah, it's only part of it. But this one could that could one could work out good. Oh, the numbers would work out good too. This one's not bad. I guess I could be showing you these. I like the number one. I like the I like that one. That one's too small. The gears aren't bad. The only thing is, like this one, I think even these shapes are too small. Um, did I use that with, that almost looks like I used pan pastels with that. I don't remember. That one's too small. This is another one of my very favorite stencils. I love the circles, but yeah, that's way too small for this. That's too small. That's too small. This is another one of my favorites. Too small, though. Maybe my problem. I don't have big openings for this heavier weight paper. Have you tried color shift and regular acrylic? I need to try that next, Painty Girl. Oh, I love this one. So I cut that one, and I love it. It always works good. And that one has big enough. 
Yeah, most of these are just way, way, way too small. They're great for the beast or, or if I was using lightweight paper, they'd be fine. Let me use that one. The numbers would also be good. What did I do with that one? There's the numbers. Yeah, either one of those I think will be good. Craft a lanch over there. <clears throat> yeah, I was thinking about using the black regular acrylic um, because the the color shifts should stick out really good on that. You'd think. So let's try. I don't remember what color this blue works, but we're going to give it a go. I think this was the first one I did. So it comes out kind of purpley. And... And then the purpley comes out purple. Let's do the yellow with it because it comes out kind of pinkish. And I already got some of that on the plate. Oops. All right. We're going to give it a go. I need to oil this crazy brayer or something. No, now it's moving freely. Oops. We're going to do the crazy string first. It's just not big enough for the whole thing. Um, I guess I should do it on black again. I like them on black way better than white. That's why I just keep going back to the black paper. I just, after every time I use my brayer, I usually wash it. Like when I'm done here, what I'll do is I'll go put a sink of hot soapy water in the kitchen and just throw everything in there. And while I clean up everything else, all that junk soaking. And then really you don't even have to clean it that much. It's just, and that's why it always looks new, like it's never been used. All right, that bees. Awesome. I like that one. But look at, okay. Which colors again did I use? Look at that purple. Like, that is bright, bright purple. I like the stencil. Doesn't look as bright. Well, I guess it does, depending on how I shift it, it does. Sometimes it looks really blue, like right there. It's really blue in my camera. And then I can move it. What cuts those stencils so stringy precise? I use a, I just draw the design on a, you know those plastic notebooks you can buy? Like 75 cents? Um, I just buy those, draw the whatever design I want on the stencil and, um, cut it out. This actually is, um, one of those dividers that you can get at, um, 
I think it was Dollar Tree. They're real flimsy. And these are easy, easy, easy to cut. Just get a cutting mat and a X-Acto knife. I mean, they're really easy. I thought, have I ever shown you guys how to do that? I thought I did a stream where I showed you. So it might be out there in my playlist somewhere. I guess I could cut one and give it away on stream one time. All right, this, what do I want to do on top of this? I want that to be left as crusty bits. Hi, King Gore. Well, never mind. <laughs> Okay. All right. Just thinking what I want to do on top of this. And I'm thinking I might want to do it. Try it on white paper. I guess the... I can just grab one of these stencils I've already used because really right now all I want is some color left on there. And straight lines I think would be better because I've already got curvy lines down there, but that one's too uniform. So I'm trying to find something kind of random, not quite so uniform. Hmm. I didn't bring the one I'm thinking out. I'm not going to go look for it. All right, here's one. This is really uniform, too, but that's all right. This is another one that I cut, and this is where I used one of those plastic folders. And honestly, after you get going doing that, it's no big deal. Um, I really want the blue. The blue, the blue. Which one is the blue? I might have a panic attack if it's that thick. I have patience. Well, as you're sitting there, I listen to YouTube's. I don't, you know, I'm I'm watching, but mostly I'm sitting there listening. And while I do that, my hands have got to be busy. I can't just sit. And um watch a YouTube. Now I can't remember which were which. That's a bad thing. All right, I'm going to use this one. I don't think it had any pink. I hope not. Uh, well, whatever. We're going to find out. Because I want some cool crusty bits. And I should just do layer upon layer upon layer upon layer to get awesome ones. Ah, uh, come on. Don't be a pain in the butt now. All right. There we go. <clears throat> I'm going to do this at an angle because I don't want it straight up and down. So. All right. If I do that, it's going to cover the whole thing. So let me find one that I don't mind jacking up. This one will be good. Use some of that brayer off on those new craft envelopes. Oh, I'll use this um, deli paper that I'm brayering off on. I won't throw that away, so it will get used. I'll put it probably in a napkin journal just to glue down his backgrounds to work on top of. All right, this is coming out way purple. And I could have sworn. <laughs> These color ships are making me crazy, Eileen. Okay. 
because I did not think I picked out the purple one. I really didn't think I picked out the purple one. I should have written down. I should have written down. Uh, <clears throat> the colors are gorgeous on the craft paper. Well, I could get out some real craft paper. I guess I could do it on the envelopes. I'll do it on this one. There's another one. Um, I'm really thinking... Has anybody used matte medium on the jelly plate as a cleanup print? Because I was just thinking I'd like something kind of clear, you know, where you end up with the design or just pick it up randomly rather than all at once. <laughs> no. Yes, you can use clear gesso. How long do you have to let it dry before you pick it up, Shauna? Because it takes a while. Yes, matte medium don't want to put color behind it all the time. Matte medium is glue, not paint. Yeah, and that's what I just want to use it as a cleanup print. So I wouldn't care if it would just clean up everything underneath it. it I would use it like clear paint. You know what I mean? You use it to seal your paper. Yeah, I have done that, Sassy. Um, use it the same as paint. Put a, See, I don't have any. Oh, you know what? I might have clear gesso. I do have clear gesso. Let's try it because I'm just curious now. I just think, um, yeah, use clear gesso. But I know I don't want to leave any on the, um, what the hell? Oh, that tree stencil fell and I'm dragging it all over. Duh. Either one will work. Okay, Sean, I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to use the clear gesso. Hopefully, it'll act like a cleanup print. Um, but I'm thinking, I'm going to get out of Oh, my God, Eileen, I've got so much junk out now. You should be so happy. I'm actually going to put some paint down on the plate like you would on a journal page, you know, more of a plan rather than... All right, we're going to give it a go. Try it out. Move focus, you freak, before I get paint all over it. Oops. Is this the same color that I used before? <laughs> now I'm not sure. which I could have done that directly on the envelope after. Um, but I want it to be a part 
of the design when I pick it up with the clear gesso. So I want that to dry. Bye, Sherri Ann. Have a nice afternoon. Did Jean come in? Hi, Jean. And green beans. Can't forget those veggies and carrots. <laughs> Sounds like you're cooking, Jean. Vegetables and your chips. You're here, Ian. Cool. All right. Come on. Dry, 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 dry. That is why I was late. Chicken and rice. Yum, yum. We're having chicken for supper tonight. I don't know what I'm doing with it, but I know we're having chicken. All right, I'm going to use my heat gun. If I can get it untangled here. There we go. I won't get it close to the plate. You know, it's, it looks to me like I used the same color. Like I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Which annoys me. Um, was it the purple that turned that pretty, pretty blue? We're going to try. I wish I'd written down the colors. <laughs> I really do. Lesson learned. Oops. All right, we'll see how that's going to work. It's either going to be a mess or it's going to be cool looking. Okay, it's the purple. Remind me, it's this purple that turns that really pretty blue. Duh. All right, that should be dry enough. And look, the some of that gold must have come off my brayer. All right, I'm just going to use a little tiny bit of the clear gesso. Is that a little tiny bit? I mean, I got to get a good coat on it, but I don't want too much because, of course, it's acrylic, so... All right, keep your fingers crossed. And give it a three minute rub. Look at all the hearts. All right, I think if you're using um, the clear gesso, you're going to have to rub longer. I don't think I got too big a coat on there, but it's taken a while to dry, it looks to me. Yeah, it's taken a while to dry. So, it may not work like I hoped it would. 
Oh, and for those of you um, here, Shauna is going to stream after me today. I, sh I usually end a little bit before 3. She's going to come on at 3.30 Central, so 4.30 Eastern. And then you can figure out your own time zone from there. But, yeah, Shauna's going to stream. So what are you going to do, Shauna? I'll be cleaning up this mess and cooking. And Glenda's here. Glenda's my birthday sister. We share the same birthday. Her birthday will be Thursday. So wish her a happy birthday now in case you don't see her later. Gonna do art journal mixed media. Sounds cool. Yeah, I can't tell. This is not drawing and picking up like um, acrylic paint would. <clears throat> Shauna's in chat, but if you're um, watching on video, Shauna's last name, I think if you just Google Shauna Mewson, and her last name is M-E-E-U-W-S-E-N. So, um, yeah, so you can find her channel. Yeah, it's just not drawing. And it could be the paper, you know, this, I don't think this craft paper is real absorbent. Yep, birthday sisters. Which translates to very cool peoples. I mean, I'm getting some of it up, Shauna, but it's not pulling like a, a regular acrylic paint would. But I think I'm going to get something cool on here. It's just not behaving the same. See what I mean, Jelly Bean? Left a lot down there, but that's going to be cruel, crusty bits too. But this will be okay. I mean, I'll use it for an envelope to send out Happy Mail. It feels really weird. Now, that's one thing. The texture with the gesso is definitely different than um, the texture of just the acrylic paint. Thank you, Glenda, and happy birthday right back at you, man. Well, and I don't know. This is Liquitex. Um, one of the things I don't like about Liquitex gessos um, is that they're kind of gritty, and that's how this feels. It's kind of gritty. So maybe if you had a different kind, you know, the golden matte medium, I think, would behave differently. This isn't horrible, though, and it did what I wanted it to do, and maybe I had too much on. Maybe it's the paper's not that absorbent. I don't know, but um, what I really wanted was just to get the color and have a clear um, layer to do the pickup, right? And I was hoping it would work exactly like acrylic paint. So maybe I'll just try matte medium on the next one because matte medium does dry quicker than, um, than gesso, in my humble opinion. But no, this isn't horrible. I mean, it looks really distressed, which is fine. Yeah, it's all right. It'll work. But I think actually probably what I'd rather do, I'm going to put aside the jelly plate for a minute. I'll have to do one more cleanup print because I still got junk on there. But honestly, I think what I'd really rather do for these envelopes to decorate them, I honestly think what I would rather do is take a stencil, whatever stencil, like this stencil, since it's right at my fingertips. And I'll work on this top of this white. Nope, I won't. I'll work on this so I can Use it later. Just use it like you would normally use a stencil, you know. I'm just using up the paint here. But you guys know me, and I'm a little bit of a control freak. Surprise, surprise. So it's not surprising that I would probably prefer it like this, where you have a little bit more control.
and how the quality works. Your antique papers and envelopes are very different. Mine are much lighter in color. Yeah, these are fairly dark. I will say that. Um, but I love them. I mean, I think they're very cool looking. My problem is, and, and the rest of you I know have got to feel the same way. My problem with most things is I love this. I love the paper so much. Um, and I want to remember to use it. But I can't let it sit out forever. So... Um, I'm going to have to put it away. You know, I left it out right now so I could um, show you guys, but I'm going to have to put it away. I mean, it can't just sit out like everything else forever and ever. And then I'll forget that I have it and I forget to use it. Now, that's the sort of thing I do that annoys the hell out of me. But it's it's not because I don't like the products. It's that it's out of, out of mind. Now, see that envelope I think is very cool. That will have to be going out to a fib somewhere someday. These paints are way cool though, Eileen. I will say that. The color shift paints are very cool looking. Where did the white paper go that I had? Don't know. Not going to worry about it. Best gessos, in my humble opinion. Art Basics by Finnabar. Yeah, she does make nice mediums. But the, all the Goldens are really good, too. Um, I will say that. All of the Golden products, the mediums, they are really nice. And I don't know how they stack up, you know, price-wise. Uh have you told the fibs the size of my workspace? The works well, they've seen pictures of it. I've I posted pictures of my workspace and it's not that big. Um to get ready for a stream, I usually try and I have a counter behind me that's probably eight feet wide and two or three feet deep, and then a a table that's I don't know, four by six so it's not a horribly small space but it's yeah yeah i don't have a huge space that's why i'm always complaining i'm going to go ahead and um sponge paint on some of these so i can make them usable um but yeah it's not huge it's a skating rink size hardly I wish it was skating rink. No, I don't. See, that's another thing is I'm fine with the small space because um, if I have a bigger space, I promise you, I would just trash it out too. So um, I do have good storage. But my actual workspace is not that large. It's bigger than Paula's, though. I will say that. But after you start streaming, um, and I have a computer in front of me, computer beside me, and then you start getting products and stuff stacked up, it's a lot smaller than you think. I'm going to go ahead and do this like I intended because I know me. It'll be more useful if I do this. I'm going to put it off to the side, though. There we go. And if this doesn't work, I'll just get out the regular black. If this doesn't cover what I want it to cover, I'll just get out the black acrylic. It's hard for me to see where I'm painting this.
I'm not reading chat, Artie. All right, I'm eager to see if this worked. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's way better. Now it's more usable. The jar you've had for nine years is not pretty. Hi, Kathy. Happy late birthday again. Try our is a brand. Um, I might be confusing that with something else because I was going to say it seems like I maybe have used Try Art in the past. Okay, that's better. So when I cut that out, all right, better, better, better. I've got to do at least one more to clean up this um, jelly plate. Let me see what else I want to do. That I can use. I know I can use that. Sticking together. Maybe do the numbers on that one. Eileen, if you could see this place, you would be so thrilled right now. Okay, this one I want to do something on top of to break up that pattern. So, you like which one? That one? Yeah, I like this one too. I haven't decided if I want to do something on top of it or if I'm going to use it just like this. This one I definitely want something on top of, but I'm kind of thinking I might use just regular black acrylic. Um, yeah, I like that one and I like this one. Both of the circle ones I think came out way cool. Um, that black, that circle stencil is just awesome. Yeah, the black definitely looks cool with the color shifts. Because you came in late, Kathy. Yeah, like the color shifts come out really, really cool. They're fun. They are, they are. Now I'm just going to do a cleanup. I think, I think, I think I'll do a black. There just isn't much crusty bits on there. But I think I'm going to use black. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of this. Now, I've forgotten again. It was the purple that made the pretty blue, right? Isn't that what I said? I think I did. Just going to put a little bit. If you wonder, and my next cleanup is going to be crusty bit, and I was just creating some actual crusty bits. Hopefully, it will come out okay. And I'm going to do it on white paper. Here's my other white paper that I had. Uh, there's a good clean piece. 
Let me dry that real quick. And then I'm going to use regular black acrylic on this. And then depending, I'll add some splatters. Oh, it's not dry yet. And I see what it looks like. Come on. Glued itself shut. Invariably. And I don't know if the color shift is going to show up on top of the black acrylic. We're just going to find out. But it's what I wanted to find out. It's whether or not using regular black acrylic is good for a cleanup print. And this one, yeah, I don't have to let it dry. So I can go ahead and start doing the three-minute rub right now. while I drink coffee. I'm really hoping that the color shift, that the black acrylic won't just cover up the color shift because if it does, I'm going to end up with a big old blob of just black. But you will have learned. Don't do that. All right, sorry, I had to, I had buffering on my um, viewing computer. If I don't keep it live, you guys have probably learned, if you don't keep it live, it will start buffering after a while. All right, it looks like it's going to. Cool. All right, so you can use regular black acrylic to do your cleanup, and you'll get of course, this is really dark. I'll have to do something on top of it. But, um, yeah, you can, it will leave the color shift where it is. Okay. Something else. Which one was the really fun gold one? This is where we started. So I did the blue first. I don't remember which one was the really pretty gold. I don't think it was the green. Maybe, well, now I'm going to have to find out. Bear with me. Because I think I'm going to water some down and do some splatters on there, too. Come on. All right, that is, that's, the green is the really pretty gold on the black background, so I'm going to try. Yeah, this one came out pretty good. It's just very earthy. It's just so dark, you know, that's the problem, using the black um, paint. But I don't think the colors would stay the same on a white background is another part of the problem, you know because they definitely look different on the white than they do on the black, for sure. 
But now I'm going to make some gold. Green is the best of everything. It is, Eileen. It does make that pretty, pretty gold. I will say that. Makes me wonder how they how they figured this out. How did they figure out that we can add some metallic elements and go from green to gold or blue to purple or purple to pink or whatever color they all are? If it was an accident, somebody just said, hey, look at what this does. I think most people go through life just dumbing into things. There's really no plan. At least that's how I go through life. I just go through life dumbing into stuff. No plan. Whatever happens, happens. I'm good with it. Hopefully this isn't too watered down. Jean, look away. Sorry. Now, when this dries, hopefully it will be nice and gold, not pukey green. You want me to make more coffee? It's up to you, hon. If you want more coffee, make a pot. Make a half a pot. I would drink some more when I'm done here, for sure. Okay. But I won't drink like two or three cups, probably. So don't make a lot. Look at whatever else I might want splats on. You're knitting, so you missed it. Well, darn it. You want me to do it again? This one I'm going to splatter with gold, too. I like me some splatters. But it's watered down, so I don't know how it's going to dry. All right, I don't know where the rest of them are, and the rest of them I don't want splatters on anyway, so <clears throat> let's try this and see if the splatters look good. Well, one thing I can say, I do like the color shift paints. If you plan on getting them, make sure you have some black paper because I think they work far, far better on the black than on the white. I don't know where the white sheet that I did my um, swatches on went. I can't imagine how I could lose something because I have gone literally nowhere. Um, oh. I put the jelly plate package on top of it. There you go. Um, well, that's drying. I mean, they, they'll work good on white paper, but I think the color shift just works better on the black. So if you're going to get them, I would say get yourself some cool black paper. Not necessary, but if you like that color shift sort of effect. Because on the white, it's just not as dramatic. And it kind of retains the color um, that it was. And this is the way I did them. So this pink color, yeah, pink flash, this is it on white paper. It kind of goes into a salmon color, I guess. But on the black, look at it goes into this blue. I put black on top of that. So... Yeah, it goes into like this pinkish blue. It's really pretty. And then I can't really do the order that I did the rest of them. I think I did. No, I didn't do that next, did I? Hmm. No, I don't remember. I know the green turned a really cool gold. Maybe this was the green up here, and it turned this. No, it didn't. All right, never mind. I can't do comparisons because I maybe didn't do them in the same order. Green was next. See, that's what I thought, too. And it turned this. Okay, I must have gone across here because this is the green on white. This is the green on black. I mean, it's like a. if you're familiar with the fine tech 
metallic paints. That's almost the same as the Arabic gold. It's really, really pretty. How do they match the color swatch on top of the bottles? Um, not at all. Not even a little bit, in my humble opinion. Maybe the purple. Okay, this is the this is the next one. And it goes this kind of purpley pink color. And I'm pretty sure. I'll find out. I should have paid more attention. Eileen, why didn't you tell me to pay more attention? But I'm pretty sure. Okay, no, the purple was the first one. It goes into the blue is what it is. Yeah, the purple is the one that goes into that pretty blue. All right, so I did the purple, the green, and then I think one of the blues was next. I think it was this one. No, this is that one. I know that. So it has to be this one was next. And this is it. This is the, let's see, blue flash. It's kind of a greenish blue on the white. And then it must be this brilliant blue on here. It's pretty, really pretty. But I would say, um, yeah, the colors on the top of the bottles, they're going to give you a general idea. And I know that's black. This was the little purple one. And it turns to silver. I do remember saying that. This must have been the yellow. This was that for sure. And then the green. Okay. So, yeah. Because you never do. <laughs> Is Lena here? Hey, hi, Norma. Lena was lurking. Hi, Lena. Hi, Norma. These, I'm playing with my birthday presents for my Lean. Yeah, see the, the green where it's still wet has a green tint, but wherever it's dry, it turned it into that really, really pretty gold color. So I'm happy with that. Can you see the shift in the paints? Very cool. I'll be cutting them out. They'll be probably turning into trash art before you know it. I'll just flip through these real quick because my time is almost up. Oh, my gosh. Robert made coffee. It smells so good. When I'm done here, I'm sitting down having a fresh cup of coffee. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about the gold flakes on the jelly plate. I mean, I thought when Patty did it, it looked really cool. But... Yeah, now I'm I'm just not so sure. And I like that one's gonna come off. So um yeah, just don't know. I mean I don't dislike it, I'm just not sure how much I love it. <clears throat> I like that one a lot. This one I will add more to. This one will be cool before it's all over with. And I will be doing more on top of these two. So. And then this one is drawing. I might think I'm a rotten jelly plater. Okay, there's that other one with the circles. I say I know there's another one. They shouldn't come off. Yeah, you'd certainly think that, but yeah. And then some of my cleanup prints, um, or where I was rolling the brayer off, um, I'll put stencilage or something on top of these, and I'll go ahead and use these probably as well. So now that Eileen has trash. Ooh, this one's really pretty. It's green one way. And kind of purpley the next. That's really pretty. I got junk on my hands. 
So yeah, probably by the time you see these again, they won't look like they do now. I'll probably, oh, see the on these? Yeah, these are kind of cool. For those of you who came in late, Eileen was good enough to send me some very cool paper and these craft. There's my monkey. Um, these craft envelopes, which I think are so awesomely cool. This is the one where I used the clear gesso and did a cleanup print. And it, I like the way it looks. I mean, I like that um, distressed kind of look, um, but it feels really different. It feels gritty. Um, and you know what? Actually, sitting here looking at this, I like the way the color shift worked on works on the craft paper as well. So, and I've still got some out here that I'll go ahead and use. Um, yeah, while we're just sitting here. I've got five minutes or so. Which stencil do I want to use? I want to use one that's already dirty. I'll go ahead and use up that black on this one to break up the evenness of that. Where is the cool looking stencil? And that's too big. See, on this, something like this, I won't mind doing something small. Maybe the circle one is the one I should use. Where'd I put it? Eileen, this place is a mess. Okay, I'll just open this one and use it. I'm not telling for it. All right, we'll just use the circle one on this too. Yeah, I like the craft paper too. Show Kathy the papers. Um, cool, Mary. I'm glad you were able to be here. Did Kathy miss when I flipped through these? This one, I'm just sitting on top, letting it dry. That green is, it went to into the gold. They're very shimmery. I mean, and like when I get it in the right light, how you guys are seeing all that blue. Oh, the paper you sent. Oh, okay. It's very cool, Kathy. Very, very cool. Um, it definitely has a stink. <laughs> All right, and I pulled out a sample of each of the sheets. So one, two, three, four, five, and then I should be back at the beginning. Okay. I think there's five different designs in here that she sent. But where's, no? Yes. Sorry, maybe there's six. Because the first one is just kind of, yeah, I, there must be six. Um, yeah, because the first one's just the dark around the edges. And the nice thing is it's front and back. And then this one's kind of design up on one side, but they're very vintage looking, really vintage looking. They're very cool. I love the stripe one. Really love this one. But they do, I will say they smell really weird. Bye, Paula. Thanks for coming. Don't work too hard. Okay, I had just hidden it for myself. That's the same as the first one that I showed. Um, and then this one looks like a, a paper bag that's been crinkled up. It's cool. Very cool. Camo. And I will be making a journal out of these. I, I was going to say, I hope I didn't get the paint on that. And I didn't. And I don't know what this one looks like. But some of these with brown ink, they will be awesome sauce. And... I just bought a brand new pen, brown pen, so it's good to be me. And you guys, I have not bought myself any pens for my birthday. Yeah, these are nice, Kathy. Very nice. And then she sent the envelopes that I 
show you the envelopes to go with. Package of 50. And they're awesome. Yeah, I love the envelopes. So now I have all these stationary. I feel like I ought to be writing something. That I am going to make it into a journal for sure, for sure. You got them on the MVs on Amazon. Yeah, because it was an Amazon delivery with a little Amazon gift card that said, your nemesis, Eileen, sent this. Your twin sister. I'm just using up paint now and breaking up the design on this one. I wish I had a cook. Somebody who'd come in here and fix my worthless butt some dinner and then clean it up. Why don't I have that? I should have that. I deserve that. All princesses have that, don't they? Cool looking, huh? I'm going to go over it with some of the blue, too. Well, it's getting close to three, guys. I'm going to probably head out of here. That's just the coffee telling me it's ready. Um, don't forget, Sean is coming on here in a few minutes, 3.30, which is 4.30 Eastern. And she's going to be art journaling. So Go support a fib. I'll probably be lurking, Shauna. I'll be there, but I'll be lurking because I'll be cleaning up this damn mess. I do love this stuff, Eileen. And as hard a time as I give you all the time, I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're a good egg. I don't care what anybody says. So you have a cookie, Kong hubby. Oh, my God. Robert can't even make cereal without getting it on the floor. <laughs> Thanks, Kat. Yeah, it's been a pretty good day. This was fun. I love playing with new stuff. This is never going to dry, I don't think. And I like acrylic paint because your paper feels like plastic. It's so cool. So I don't know what. These will probably end up in trash art or in a journal. So um Thank you, Norma. Thanks, Kathy. Thanks, everybody. So, yeah, go get something to eat or drink. Give yourself about a 30-minute rest and go over to Shauna's house. I love you guys. Eileen's gone all red now. Why did Eileen go all red? All right. See you later. Bye.